am always asking people for our give it, you know, give us a shout out. What are you afraid of? What is it uh, that, that you find challenging? Because I want to buddy up with our viewers and face down all their fears and all that. And well, here's here's one fresh off the press here. Here's an email I got just a couple days ago. It says, hey, Rachel, I am a very adventurous person and I know you are, too. I have always wanted to bungee jump. Will you please take the plunge with me? Let's bungee. Chrissy. Okay, so that was the shout out, and here is a little bit more about Chrissy. Check her out. I need Rachel's help because I want to go bungee jumping. And bungee jumping just for me is not the kind of thing that I would ever do on my own because let's face it, it's crazy, it's bungee jumping. I live in a tiny apartment with my roommate, Piper, and from the minute I get up in the morning, she and I are dancing around each other trying to get ready. So I brush my teeth in the kitchen sink while she brushes hers over the bathtub because we don't even have a sink in our bathroom, it's so little. I get on a tiny crowded bus in the morning and people crowding me. <laughs> I get to work and I go up to the top floor of our building and I think, what would it be like to just jump out that window with elastic holding me, of course, and feel the exhilaration and the freedom that that would be like. I think about it all the time. If Rachel were to send me bungee jumping, I would totally do it without fear. Well, maybe with a little bit of fear, but that's why I wanna go bungee jumping. Rachel's got your back for a lot of things, and I have taken people on a lot of stunts. One girl was afraid of heights. We jumped out of a plane together from literally miles above the earth. But Chrissy, you have hit on the one thing Rach can't help you with. I am deathly afraid of the big rubber band. <laughs> it's, it's about the finite, you know. I mean, if that rubber band is the wrong length or, uh, I don't know, got a little dry and crackly around the edges and somebody forgot to moisturize it, it could snap, and then that's flat is just all I, all I can have in my head. So I'm making you feel much better, aren't I, Chrissy? But, <laughs> whoo, but I do have a friend, uh, David, David Lahati, I call him because he's so incredibly handsome. Uh, David Lahata is his real name. And um, he, whenever he, he, well, whenever I can't pick up the slack on a challenge, I just, I just call Dave and uh, he takes the plunge, so to speak. So here's what happened when Dave and Chrissy got together. We went to the Great Canadian Bungee in Wakefield, Canada. Hey, Rachel, right behind me is the 200-foot plunge into this beautiful granite quarry. I am pumped for this jump. Hey, Chrissy, I'm David. Hi, David. How are you? Now, you've never bungee jumped before, right? No, never. Neither okay. have I. So we're going to do it together, okay. and we're going to okay. have a good time. It's going to be great. She's really excited. Uh, you know, I saw her face when she got here. She was a bit surprised to see the crane when we first pulled up. I am nervous, incredibly excited, and incredibly nervous. Okay, guys, the hard part's done, the way in, now the easy part, the bungee jump. Let's go do it. Have a good jump. Whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe this. It's a little nuts. <laughs> We're going to get okay. you guys harnessed up. Run. Like, wow. No hesitation. That's the most important thing is to not hesitate. Don't forget, we're doing this for fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. And, and... <laughs> Here we go. Three check, lock check, waist is tight, leg one, leg two. Let's do it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh.
Wow. First of all, I wouldn't even go because there's a way in, and I haven't known my way since I was 12. I tell the doctor, you write down what you need to know, and I don't need to know. Uh -huh. Thank you. So I'm scared of just the way in. And I, I jumped out of frames, and I couldn't do this. It was crazy. It's crazy. crazy just watching it. I'm like, oh. Watching it, I mean, I don't know how many people get to watch themselves bungee jump. So to see it now, it just totally builds up the experience all over again. It's just that's and that got so, you that's right over that part. tiny apartment and the tiny job. I mean, I was how like, free listen, do you feel? I, 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 I feel so free now. And I said, I'll be fine going back to Manhattan. After that, after hanging upside down for 20 seconds, right? Crazy. Brain adjustment or what? Is it like going to the chiropractor for your soul? Well, they or? say that when you turn upside down, people who practice yoga say that it, it rejuvenates your brain when all the blood rush is there. So I don't know. I, well, you look great and Thank props you. to you. Thank Amazing. You. Thank you I'm glad we can put you together so today. Me now, too. As I said, I jokingly call him Lahati, but I mean, I, I do call Dave whenever there's something I, I, I can't do or can't face myself because I know you're always going to be up for it. That's right. Adventurous guy, you love to travel. That's right. You write travel columns and all that. I want to give a personal shout out. I mean, whatever you're afraid of, guys or girls, if you're afraid of bugs, snakes, whatever, jumping out of stuff, jumping over stuff, what, what, give them something. I think that I want to ride a camel across the Sahara. Okay, well, wow. ride, about that? if you want to ride a camel across the Sahara, we want some challenges here. We are both ready, able, and willing to go anywhere and try anything except me with the rubber bands. Bring it on. Not, not, not so much. So bring it on right into me and Dave here. We want to be your team. We're going to face down all of our fears in life together just like little Chrissy did here. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you, when, when you're about to do something really scary and you're feeling a little timid, Dave is definitely the guy you He's want with you. He's the guy who can get you to do it, right? I was so proud of Chrissy for walking out onto that the edge of that crane, looking down 200 feet, Woo. because I know so many people who would have just turned right around, but I, I was so did. proud of Chrissy. Almost did. For, Look, uh, half the know, audience is like me. Taking the plunge, she was so good for overcoming her fears, and, and really, she just did such a great job. It's fun. I think this is a really fun way, instead of going to therapy for years, you go and you just face down your fears. You play with the snake, you jump out of the plane, you bungee into rocks and quarries. So, I mean, that's what we want to do. We want to face down all of our fears together. So write in, tell us what our next challenge is, because we are raring to go. Oh, and we have to thank... Great Canadian Bungie. Great Canadian Bungie for hooking us up with the big rubber band. Right. Be right back. We're going to the kitchen. Double duty. Good job, man. Nice, 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 nice. If you